welcome to another video. Um, so, my Lima quote finally arrived. Um, today is the 29th of November. This book is, this box has arrived at least a week later than it normally comes. Um, so I've done my like monthly unboxing. I've done my monthly haul. I'm just going to unbox this one now anyway and like get this video up. So you will see this book in next month's haul because because I am. Can't work out how to open it though. So, Illumicrate, if you didn't know, I am not aware. Um, <laughs> but Illumicrate is a monthly subscription box for um, fantasy and sci-fi books, um, which are normally either YA or adult. Normally I find they lean more towards the adult than the YA. This month's theme is anti-hero. Um, the, I'm not going to look at the spoilers. Next month's theme is In the Stars, which is an adult sci-fi debut. Oh, exciting. Anyway, that is the themes. Let's get unboxing. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. So first of all, we have a mug. It looks like it's going to be a sci-fi mug, which excites me. I'm in a bit of a sci-fi mood at the moment. Um, I've just finished reading the Skyward series, so I've read like three books back to back. And, oh, I like this. Um, so it says, The Rise and Fall of Sanctuary Moon. And it's a sci-fi mug. Let me see. So this is from the Murderbot Diaries, which I have not read. But I like this. Cute. I love these mugs. I think they're like a perfect size as well. They're a really, really good size mug. Um, we've got a hanging ornament that is inspired by Nettle and Bone from T. Kingfisher. Hmm, which looks like this. I'm not going to use that. Not because it isn't pretty, but I do that's not it's not my vibe but I like the idea I do have other hanging ornaments from book boxes book boxes um which have been wooden ones which I like um I I that's very cute I like it but it's not my vibe so I'm not going to be using that we've got this pouch foldable bag so it's a foldable shopping bag inspired by the night market from the stardust thief um so that's actually a really good sized bag it's a kind of raincoat material um but you then it will fold up back inside its little pouch thing so it makes it nice and easy to slip into a bigger bag that's cute and i like that that's useful i am i'm, I'm gonna just throw that on the floor and i'll figure out how to refold it in a minute We've then got bookends. These are inspired from the Locked Tomb series. So Gideon the Ninth. Um, can you see them? I'm going to have to take them out. I don't know where the opening is. I feel like this has been a very sci-fi box, which I'm not mad about. So they these... Uh, comes to that have got the Gideon the Ninth skull and crossbones on them and it says one flesh one end up at the top I really like bookends I think they're really useful um, so I'm happy to have more of them then we've got the book so the book was announced just because it is quite a it's a big release um, Oh, oh, I don't. Mm, it's a plastic hardback. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, the book is Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. So it is a plastic hardback. It's a kind of like hard plastic. 
Um, and then the naked hard jack, hardback looks like this with very pretty sprayed edges. Um, so with these, oh, and we've got end papers, which are the same. With these plastic hardbacks, so Illumicrate have done this before with um, a marvellous light, and I love how it looks. The, the look is lovely, but the feel I really don't like. Um, so, anyway, the synopsis. Can I read the synopsis with it over this? Nobody in Eden remembers when Starling House was built, but the town agrees it's best to let this ill-omened mansion and its last lonely heir go to hell. Stories of the house's bad luck, like good china, have been passed down through the generations. Opal knows better than to mess with haunted houses or brooded men. But when an opportunity to work there arises, the money might get her brother out of Eden. Starling House is uncanny and full of secrets, just like Arthur, its heir. It also feels strangely, dangerously, like something she's never had, a home. Yet Opal isn't the only one interested in the horrors and wonders that lie, beneath, that lie buried beneath it. Sinister forces converge on Eden and Opal realises that if she wants a home, she'll have to fight for it, even if it involves digging up her family's ugly past to achieve a better future. She'll have to go down, deep down beneath Starling House to claw her way back to the light. So this one does sound really interesting. I am a little bit nervous because I DNF'd Once and Future Witches by Alexi e. Harrow. So I'm not, and that was because I didn't really get on with the writing style. So I'm a little bit nervous about reading Starling House in case it's another one where the writing style just doesn't work for me. But it is a very pretty book. Like I said, those edges are stunning and the box is fantastic. Um, I think I think my favourite item is probably the bookends. Um, they're useful. They're really cool. I like them. I do really like the mug. But again, this is a fandom that I don't know. So um, I'm, I'm not overly like fussed by them. I, I love the fact it is a mug, but I'm not fussed by like the design of the mug. I don't really understand why it's such a sci-fi themed like with items because the mug is murder bot, bot that's sci-fi. Gideon the Ninth is sci-fi. Um, Nettle and Bone, I think, is also potentially a sci-fi, but the book isn't. So it seems a strange kind of mismatch, especially when, like I said, like next month's book is a sci-fi. It seems strange that they didn't put these sci-fi objects in the sci-fi box. Um, but that is my Illumicrate unboxing. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know what your favourite item of the ones I've shown you are. Um, and like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you. I will actually be seeing you tomorrow for the first day of Vlogmas. Bye!